I find it absolutely annoying when I'm trying to watch a video on the internet and it keeps on buffering without actually playing. So content publishers on the internet such as YouTube, Netflix or say even the BBC, what they do is they partner with uh, what are known as content delivery networks in order to accelerate the uh, delivery of their content. So these CDN companies, they run servers all across the world. So say when a person in Southeast Asia wants to access a BBC video, they can talk to the nearest CDN server and get, get the video from there. And instead of actually uh, getting the video from the BBC server in Europe. So this improves performance, this uh, is, uh, provides a better user experience and it works out pretty well in general. But nowadays we have seen that uh, such the existing CDN architecture has been lacking and it, not, it has not been able to meet with the increasing rise in uh, demand for rich media content such as AR, VR and even 4K videos. And this CDN market is like mainly dominated by a couple of big players. These are Amazon and Akamai. So if you're a publisher and you want premium performance, you have to pay a big price for that. Plus these, these CDN companies, they uh, really bully the publishers into entering into multi-year contracts. And even after that, uh, these publishers are provided with very low penetration in uh, part, like developing markets and like parts of Asia and Middle East and Africa. So what we are building at Marlin is we are actually leveraging the spare bandwidth and storage of literally billions of uh, nodes connected to the internet and asking them to serve content on the internet. So your personal devices and even data centers with spare capacity can join the Marlin network and start serving, start acting as micro CDN servers and start like acting, uh, serving content to your peers in order for, uh, in return for a monetary incentive. So in order to provide a, a superior quality of service, our technology is based on a decentralized uh, challenge verifier protocols that allow the network in a decentralized way to check if a node is actually uh, providing the quality of service that it is guaranteeing. We have a multi-tier architecture where you have on one tier nodes which have high reliability. These are basically data centers that uh, provide availability. And on the other hand, you have these uh, nodes, personal devices with super high density that can uh, power a super fast delivery of content. And then we also, in order to optimize even more, we implement smart metering, intelligent prefetching and prepositioning of content all across the network. And we have a global reputation system for nodes in the network. So it turns out that the modeling solution is much cheaper than what, what traditionally exists out there. So it's almost like 10 times cheaper than traditional CDNs, and especially in developing markets, even with providing similar uh, performance guarantees. So uh, yeah, besides that, our dynamic incentivization model can give our publishers a pay-as-you-go model. And we can also dynamically adapt to a changing demands all across, all in specific regions of the world, which is pretty similar to how search pricing would work in Uber. And so we truly think we are make, building breakthrough technology and Josh will take us through an amazing demo to make it more real. Let me run you through this demo real quick. The first thing that a publisher will see when they want to put content on the web is this interface. They'll paste a video here or whatever they want to put here. Um, and they'll assign it a budget of however much you want to assign it. Um, once they've created a publisher, they'll see a list of peers that you can then activate to send this content to on the network. Now once they've done this, in order to CDNify, um, this will um, you can, this will put the data onto the contract where you can then uh, what happened Where's, okay <laughs> all right um, so apparently it doesn't work like that on this computer um, you you'd be able to see this however in your accounts and it takes a little bit for the block to get mined but um, if you go back to there later you'll see it in the demo as well now on the viewer side you'll have a video which is being served in chunks by the peers. Um, and the peers in turn are receiving server certificates that they can then redeem for tokens in the Marlin network. On this dashboard, you can see the different peers. At the top, you have uh, master nodes, which are redirecting the request to relay nodes. And these relay nodes are the ones who are receiving the server certificates so that they can redeem them for Marlin, credit, for Marlin tokens. Um, let's go back here. And the last thing we have is a stats dashboard, wherein you will see the entire network of Marlin um, and hopefully this Marlin network will grow as we build a product. We are Marlin, and we are, we are serving the world's content in a streamlined manner by putting the internet back in your hands. Thank you.